In this section, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom-made material for the direction of the magnetization that you get the same effect that we got here uh, through a simple function that we can define in a material sections. So to do that, I'm going to um, create another uh, design and uh, basically I just copy this design and then I paste this design and uh, probably I want to call it uh, something else. So I will call it um, sign uh, material and uh, what I'm going to do is in this design um, I'm gonna open the design and I want to show you that we don't need the four uh, basically part so we are not gonna create it anymore out of the four parts and let me zone on this okay and since we create a new design it doesn't have our latest configuration for the view so we want to make sure that we are not seeing the region again so I'm closing the region so now we have that so what we want to do is we want to get rid of these four regions so select the split edits and then delete them by pressing delete key and uh, when it comes to the sweep you don't need to sweep it with this with, with the screw so you just double click on the sweep and say the screw or twist angle should be zero and then press ok so there we go we got this very simple solid uh, magnetic uh, ring or magnetic ring or ring magnet um, so we can change the name also to ring magnet if you want and now what we are going to do is we are going to define a material for that that gives it uh, a better characteristic for what it is So uh, let's first clone the material that we have here and we can call it the um, magnetic equation for example and for the values that we have um, we don't need to change anything except the R. So if you can see here the R component used to be always constant and we used to have four segments for a ring magnet and we were screwing the segments and since the R was the same but we were screwing the, the, the material uh, four materials and we were changing the, the R component to from one to minus one for for differentiating between north and south uh, with that case basically we were uh, uh, creating this um, we are basically shaping the magnet mag magnetization direction but now here we are going to do it uh, using uh, equation for the R component so the equation would be very simple here uh, we are going to define it as a sign of uh, basically two uh, which is a number of poles that we have divided by two so we were going to have four poles uh, so you will have two if you were having six poles you would put three so we are going to have four poles so we will put four divided by two equals two and then uh, we have uh, phi which is phi minus 45 so um, so when you say two uh, times phi it gives you the four uh, cycles that you want to have um, which what we wanted to have but then also we want to have an a school effect for the magnetization uh, which if you remember we had this 45 degrees of school and the school was like happening from minus 20 to plus 20 uh, millimeters of the Z so when we were going from minus 20 Z we had zero school and then we were going to the Z equals 20 millimeters we had 45 degrees uh, school 45 degree in a radian is 
0.85 and uh, when it comes to the definition that we just I just said about uh, uh, the um, okay so I just lost it because I was going to make it larger so I'm gonna go again 2 is representing 4 poles times phi so it's giving me 4 poles and then I want to make it a screw so I say 45 degree in uh, radian which is 785 times uh, I can say Z divided by 40 millimeters okay so that would be basically um, just make sure that the Z is capital so that would be the uh, the way that it worked because when Z is 40 millimeters uh, what we have is uh, so when Z is 40 millimeters from the point that we are so we are at minus uh, 20 uh, so then when it's 40 is basically the, the absolute value of the Z is 40 uh, it's 20 but we are looking at the absolute we are looking at the changes of the Z so when the change of the Z is 40 millimeters we have a square of 45 degrees to the sine um, phase and when it's zero when the Z is zero uh, we have the square of zero so that's what exactly we are looking for so that should be okay and I'm going to validate the material it is validated I'm pressing OK for that and it does create the material for me so it's called magnetic equation that we just created it's a custom equation that we just did so now uh, you you will basically do the same thing you go here we already should have our inside uh, surfaces for the mesh and also for the analysis we should have the same analysis so I'm going to make sure that everything is fine which is fine and run the simulation so the simulation is over and I'm going to here show you the comparison of what we got when we are using the custom uh, material uh, which has the custom made um, basically uh, magnetization directions on the right you see the, the results of the magnetization directions when we are using the the sine function inside the material and on the left uh, here we have the previous uh, function uh, mag magnetization basically directions that we got from the four pole um, geometry so as you can see that we could uh, easily uh, create <coughs> the effect that we were looking for as you can see there are some small details that are different for example here you can see that on the brad one uh, we have some notches here but we don't have that here however we have some changes here that we don't have there so generally speaking uh, we you can see that the the, the the figures and the curves are very similar and we could easily create um, this effect in a second method using changing the R components in the magnetization properties of the materials that we define okay that will conclude our uh, session on how to uh, simulate the permanent magnets and uh, how to create our own magnetization <coughs> uh, directions and orientations for the permanent magnets um, there is one uh, other way to actually create that and that is instead of using the sine function you can actually use the PWL uh, piece with um, uh, wise basically functions that you can actually create your own uh, set of data for different angles or different Z uh, so we use a function and we define it like uh, uh, pi over 4 uh, times you know um, Z divided divided by 4 40 millimeter so that was basically our function to create our SKU and also we used uh, 2 times pi for creating our um, basically uh, cycles as you can see here based on the distance but uh, you can also uh, create um, uh, the same effect 
uh, using the pulse, uh, basically using the pieces that you defined uh, inside the material. Uh, if you needed help for that, I will actually create a tutorial for that. Let me know. But uh, I think that uh, till here should uh, clear the way for you guys. And I hope that you get the information that you were looking for.